What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Shreds with some of the X-Men Destinies. Destinies because there's three different characters you can be. As some of you might have noticed right off the bat, I did not keep the same class. And you can actually hear my voice. I know it's amazing. But, um, yeah, those first three videos I have to apologize for. That was a, a live recording setup that did not work as promised. Uh, it has since been rectified, but I went ahead and recorded these previously because I wanted to advance the game. Time is getting short on other things. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and commentate along with this as uh, North Star shows up here. Who wants to help out, I guess. Um, if you notice this uh, character is still Adrian, however he does not have the projectile power. I went ahead and switched to uh, density control. Um, it was the one I wanted to play originally. I started the game when it first came out and for whatever reason my recordings were screwed up so I had to start over. At that point I picked up the um, projectile power which I didn't like so I went back and started again. Um, the, there is something odd that happens in the next episode, I won't tell you guys what it is, but it does make me skip forward in the game a little bit. I don't know quite why it happens, but it does annoy me some. Uh, but we'll address that issue in the next episode when we get to it. We're picking up pretty much where we left off from the projectiles, except this time you can actually hear my voice. Um... I'm further in the game and I'll get episodes out as soon as I can. Um, I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm not terribly excited about this game, but I'm the type of person who will finish what he starts. A little cutscene here. Magneto wants to throw around some helicopters, I'm always okay with that. Um, so we're still escorting this courier, and I've sped up this video just to kind of get time down. This is already a longer video than I wanted to put out, <clears throat> but it ended up being a little longer than a little longer than I realized it was when I was playing it. But I didn't want to cut it down too much, so I just sped up the video. So here we have to defeat 28 enemies. Um, you'll get a good feel for what the density control does. It's much more of a punch you in the face type thing. The uh, uniform I'm, pick I'm wearing right there is actually North Star's uniform. There's no real benefit to the uniforms other than they just change how you look. Uh, a little later on, I think... I'm not sure it's this episode, but the next episode I actually pick up Wolverine's uniform. Pretty sure it's next episode, so I I'll pretty probably sport that the whole time. Um, what I've kind of noticed as I'm playing through density control, you can use that rollerball move to pop people up in the air and then continue to combo them as they come down. So it kind of gives you a little bit of a reset to extend your damage onto them, which comes in handy. Uh, that three hit combo that I'm picking up is actually the third level of that density control first power. So it does come in somewhat handy. Um, second one is actually two hits and then a clap, so it's kind of like a Hulk smash type thing. The other power that you'll see me use is a projectile explosive ball. I may have used it, if not, I'm pretty sure I'll use it here soon. But what it does is I power that one up some too, and it actually throws out five little obsidian balls that if they contact an enemy will freeze them in a rock shard and then explode after some time. If it doesn't hit anyone, it will stay on the ground and then explode after some time. So those are pretty useful. They are even behind you, Courier, man. Um, I did, like I said, I sped this one up in a couple places. The first one you saw, the next one's up here a little bit. Here's another cutscene. Miss Gambit's club, known as the Rogue's Hand, which I'm sure is an homage to Rogue, who he was madly in love with for the whole time. 
Um, as far as powers, I believe I'm using Juggernaut's offensive power. This part is sped up as well, as you can kind of hear the chipmunk type audio. Uh, Juggernaut's power, which gives more damage per hit and a knockdown on my jumping charge move, which is when you see me jump up and float for a couple seconds and jump down, there's a little shockwave that does a stun. Here's a cutscene. That was interesting. The timing on that cutscene was off a little bit. He uh, backed up before the explosion actually hit him. But that's what you get from being in video production for a little while. You notice things like that. Hope it doesn't ruin the game for anyone or stuff like that when I point stuff like that, put that stuff out. Um, as far as character design, everything seems pretty good so far. I'm not a huge fan of the comics, but I, I was a big fan of the uh, 90s TV show. I pretty much grew up on that version of the X-Men. And a lot of the characters, at least, that were in that iteration of it are pretty similar in this game. So I'm happy with that. The voice of Gambit I'm not amazingly happy with, but it's close enough that I don't, I'm not going to rage about it. The Back to what stuff I have equipped. Uh, so I have the North Star suit on right now. I switched to Wolverine a little later. Uh, offensive power is Juggernaut's X-Gene, which gives me a knockback and I believe a little more damage. Uh, utility power is Surge, which gives me that lightning dash. Uh, lets me dash farther, faster, and also will stun enemies and do a little bit of damage to them. So that's incredible, incredibly useful. Uh, the defensive utility, I believe, is Psylocke. I'm trying to help. Okay, I swear I'm on your side. Like I brought you the package. I didn't let the purifier get it. Why didn't you just say so? Name's Lenny. Maybe I'm pleased to meet you. That's it. Come on in. That cutscene, and then there's another one, and I'll tell you about Psylocke's power. Purifiers have been taking mutants alive. Nightcrawler thought you might know where they're taking them. Monsieur Wagner is too kind. Hmm. Curious. What is your take on this? The purifiers shun mutants. They don't collect them. I... I don't get it. The purifiers didn't want you getting that package. Hmm. First things first. Let's see what you brought me. Hello. Worse than I thought. What is that? Stolen goods. Stolen souls. I think my problem connects to your problem. If so, maybe you're right. Maybe we can help each other. I'm ready. What do you need? My neighbors have a warehouse that's been busy night and day over the past few days. Meet up with some of my people and see what you can find. I'm on my way. Watch your back. They've become unpredictably rapid, and that isn't good for any of us. Okay, so essentially we have to go and tell his noisy neighbors to shut the heck up. Well, the noisy neighbors are actually the uh, purifiers, so that makes it more interesting. Um, Psylocke's utility power that I'm using. Finally get to finish this expose on the powers that I've chosen. Um, Psylocke's allows you to rebuild your mutant power meter faster as opposed to the others that I found that just give you an extra bar. I don't think having so many bars is actually that useful. Um, the, the third power I pick up is what they call obsidian skin, so basically 
the more mutant power I have, the less damage I take, and I actually gain another health bar. So that's always good. Um, there is... I come to the end of this tunnel, and you can go left or right. You'll see me kind of head off to the left, I believe... Or the right, I'm sorry. And then right about here, I cut it and go back. There's a challenge area there. This video was longer than I wanted, so I cut out the challenge area, but basically punch a bunch of guys in the time limit, you get an X gene. Not incredibly exciting. Um, I did leave in the next episode one of the challenge areas in, but I sped it up, so that way you guys can kind of see what it's like, but it's really just beat these guys up in this time limit and we'll reward you. Not incredibly exciting. So here, they've done a decent amount of design in how they built these levels out. Um, if you actually go around to the left of that building, you can see where it's flashing and those lights on the side. There's another challenge area, but you don't actually get anything from that, so I decided to skip it. I know about that because I was playing through it at a different time. Um, here, after the fight on this rooftop, there's another split. A path to the left leads to uh, up some wooden stairways, and there's a couple of X-Genes there. I wasn't too interested in that, because I kind of want to get this playthrough over with. I'm not a big fan of this game. It didn't turn out as I expected. But like I said earlier, I'll finish what I started. Uh, I am a lot further on recorded, I just haven't had time to record commentaries yet. The plan for me right now that I'm going to do another episode of X-Men Destiny right after this one, record it. I've already actually got them all recorded, just going to record the commentary for it. Tomorrow or the day after the 4th or the 5th, 4th uh, I'm going to pick up Spider-Man Edge of Time and start a gameplay on that one. I'm going to try and do that one live, and I'm actually going to check the volume this time before I start recording and posting things, so you'll be able to hear me, which is amazing, and I know it's missing from the first two episodes. I can't apologize enough about that. I'm so sorry about that, guys. It's one of those um, old adage, measure twice, cut once type things. I apparently ignored that. But it shall never happen again. So, Edge of Time is tomorrow. I'll pick that up and try and get a couple videos of that posted to the YouTubes with the live commentary. It'll make things a lot easier to get it out, which is why I'm going to do that. Um, you'll probably get less of me jibber-jabbering during that because I'll be more interested in that storyline. And I won't know exactly what's coming. It'll also probably be a little bit longer because I might die or mess up or whatever reasons. I won't edit that down. So you'll have raw and uncut me more than some people can handle. Yeah, I said that. I don't know why. But, anyway. The... This game is actually, from what I've seen, shorter than most people thought, so I shouldn't be too far from the end from what I've recorded. They did make one of the boss fights a little harder than I expected, so I did have some trouble with that. And I, I do tend to rage and get frustrated, so I stopped recording after that. Um, but I should probably have that game finished by this weekend. We'll see. I'll get those up as soon as possible. Space Marines is done. Just need to record commentary and post those. Um, while I'm talking about that, if you guys have any topics you want to hear me talk about, then throw them out there in comments, or hit me up on the Twitters. Twitter should be linked in the description. It's at Top Not Prod, Prod being Productions, P-R-O-D. Uh, I still have not gotten around to setting up a Facebook page yet. I might also set up a Google+, Plus because there are a portion of people that use that, um, just to, to get me and Top Not Productions out there. I'm also going to pick up... I'm all over the place today. Um, either the 4th or the 5th NBA Jam on Fire Edition comes out. Uh, 
I have quite enjoyed NBA Jam in the past couple iterations, starting especially with the original on the SNES. So I'm going to pick up NBA Jam on Fire Edition. I may even do a feature with a friend of mine who's also been into the series. Hey, we've got flamethrowers. Yeah, those big guys have flamethrowers and they hurt. That's where I get obsidian skin. Um, so I'll, I may do a feature with that. It depends what his schedule's like, what we can do from there. But I'll post uh, some single player of that. Maybe that feature, maybe some online play. Depends how the online is. If there's online, I'm not sure. But uh, we'll, we'll see what happens from there. This video's got about another... Ooh, minute and a half or so. What can I talk about? I've been debating on picking up Dark Souls, which is also released on the 4th. But when I played through... Demon Souls. Yeah, I couldn't even think about it. I'm sorry about that. Uh, Demon Souls, I didn't actually make it all the way through. I was quite annoyed by... Uh, frankly, how unforgiving the game was. So I wasn't really interested in devoting a whole lot of time to that. Um, there's also a great many games coming out in the next month. So I don't think I'll have a whole lot of time to play something like that. Um, I've also been messing around in Minecraft. Nothing really amazing, just something to blow off steam while I'm waiting for videos to render. Um, if you guys want to see a little bit of that, Leave a, leave a comment requested. It. It's nothing amazing, I've just kind of built a little castle. Um, they do have a lot of interesting mods for Minecraft, which, well, makes it more interesting. You were right. That's it. As I thought. Not just friendly neighborhood thieves over there. Were there any other clues in the package that can help us figure out their plan? Schematics to a compound that isn't on any map. And that none of my people have been able to locate. It is so well shielded, you could be forgiven for thinking it doesn't even exist. Did you find out the location? Seems they've been using an old bot tunnel. Well then, that's my way in. Watch yourself down there. You'll find moles and rats in those tunnels. One last thing. Tell me a sense about you. Now, I understand the attraction of the darker side. Take my advice. Try not to lose sight of yourself. Yeah, we are lose. But that doesn't mean that's all we are, the girl. So that's going to be it. Go ahead and check me out on the Twitters. The link is in the description. My name is Shreds. You are the audience. Thanks for joining me. Later.